the power of parents. You will witness it today in San Francisco where voters were so furious with how school board members handled COVID learning that they got them booted. Parents argued that the Board of Education leaders failed their children and that they were more concerned with social issues than pandemic strategies. San Francisco Mayor London Breed had this to say about one of the ousted members that she herself actually placed on the board. I do not regret my decision to appoint uh, Fauga to the school board. Um, Fauga had a lot of um, skills in working with communities that are on the southeast sector of the city. Many people advocated for him as a voice for them. Um, and I made that decision. But he's gone, and the city now rife with accusations of racism and a flurry of lawsuits that as all of us around the country wondering if we could start seeing the same type of recalls around the country. ABC News' Will Carr joins us now with more. So, Will, this is what happens when parental anger, even a very liberal city, boils over into the ballot box. I mean, the politics of COVID, it's real. That's right, Gary. This is all about COVID and the school board's response to the pandemic. And it's not just in San Francisco, as you mentioned. This is outrage that we're seeing all across the country. And in the end, it wasn't even close. Three out of seven of San Francisco's school board members were recalled in a landslide. This all started last year when parents got frustrated, they say, because they believe the school board was spending way too much time considering renaming a third of San Francisco's schools instead of spending time thinking about how you educate during the pandemic. Take a listen to one of the parents uh, about what they said about this recall. I think there's a common thread that public education is a vital government service. It's one of the critical public services that we expect uh, in any of these situations. And when you take that away, you will have angry, frustrated parents. It's guaranteed. This recall appears to be a demonstration of Asian American electoral power, a big moment for Chinese voters in particular. It now falls on the mayor of San Francisco to replace these board members. She held a press conference just a short time ago. Take a listen to what she said. When we think about this pandemic and the challenges, the learning loss, the mental health challenges, that is, has to be our focus. Across the country, more than 60 school board members are up for recall. Most, if not all, are linked to pandemic-related issues. But it's not just school boards, Kira. We also see in San Francisco the district attorney is up for recall later this year. And pundits across the country are keeping a close eye on the impact this is going to have on politics moving forward. Kira. So just while I have you, Mayor Breed it responded to this question about whether this means San Francisco is going to move away from more progressive ideals and move toward more uh, moderate stances on various issues. What issues exactly are we talking about and what changes could we start to see? Because now, you know, positions are on the line here, clearly. That's right. You have liberals fighting liberals. The mayor said that this isn't about politics and uh, specifically with the school board, that it's about the kids. But she also said that the priority needs to be focusing on the kids and that she thinks that they lost focus when it came to uh, kids with special needs, uh, special education, kids who don't have parents in the household who can make sure that they were staying on top of their education uh, while they were uh, working or while they were uh, doing remote learning. So uh, there's a lot of back and forth about the ways that this could have been this could have gone uh, at the beginning of the pandemic through the pandemic and then right now and exactly how you move forward and we've seen that uh, take the mask issue for instance that is still a hot topic not just in California but across the country when it comes to schools and whether kids should still have those masks on or not and then you have vaccinations that play into this so there's a lot of layers uh, to these issues as you have uh, obviously politics playing into it, Kira. Well, a vote like this hasn't happened, a recall vote in nearly 40 years. It'll be interesting to see what happens across the country now. Will, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.